my dears, this is Sarah from SheHoldsDearly.com and today we'll be discussing bohemian Christmas style decorations and I'm gonna end with a DIY that you've been asking for for at least two years. <laughs> And you may have noticed that I did not do a video last week. I just want to quickly say thank you for your patience. I've been getting some comments asking what, where I have been. We have had a family emergency for the last two weeks. It is now under control. But I missed you all and I just wanted to let you know that I am not going anywhere. That was something that um, I actually haven't dealt with ever since I've been blogging and with YouTube. So um, hopefully that will only happen like once every six years and I can be totally consistent other than that. So that's what happened there. Today, uh, usually we would be talking about styling thrifted finds, but because I'm coming off the end of that deal, um, we are gonna do this instead and I, you can expect the thrifted gift ideas next week. I'm very excited about that. All right, I am noticing in design circles that the 70s style is coming back, but it's never exactly the way it was back in the day. It comes back with its own flair and fresh look to it that is really fun. I am not actually seeing anything on Pinterest about 70s style Christmas decorations but there's a little bit about Bohemian. So I'm gonna go off that and actually title it Bohemian, which, well, I think that's a good buzzword for the look if you love that style, if you love the 70s look, search for boho and Bohemian. The first thing I would say about getting this style into your Christmas decorations is that you get to have a lot of fun with colors. Really kind of any color goes. I mean, you could do mustard yellow, you could do turquoise. It's really, I think the best style for using fun colors. So here is a little mood board that I pulled. Definitely pinks. This is perfect for pinks. Then of course this whole collection with the variety of colors is really good in this picture of the ornament. So this really pretty light aqua and the brown and the pink and the salmon and the little bit of a coppery color. All that works so great with this style. Here's a shot of these beautiful sugar cookies. Again, beautiful example of the colors you can get away with if you're gonna go this style. Then the next thing I would say is to go big with your garlands and your tassels. So this is a great shot of, I mean, they've got three different kinds of tassels going on, it looks like here. Maybe there's just two, but. I'm also seeing collections of trees, which I'm gonna circle back to. Again, eucalyptus is great for garlands and beaded garlands look really good all very bohemian. That one has a little bit more of a, like a little bit more sophistication to it than the other ones can look, can get kind of like little girlish, which is fine. I actually love bohemian style for little girls, um, but if you want it just to have a like a touch of sophistication to it, go more of this look with the wood beads and the eucalyptus. And then of course my beloved pom-pom garlands. I love those everywhere I made a tutorial last year on how to do a really nice pom-pom garland and I'll link that for you. But it makes a great gift idea too. Okay, and here is another way that you can use tassels. Um, really cute on gifts. This gal made large yarn tassels and hung them on her tree. I love that. And then this is just a little crafty idea. You could make a piece of art using tassels and create a little Christmas tree. Thought that was cute. The third thing I would say about bohemian style Christmas decorations is that you get to have a lot of fun with trees. So this tree is pampas grass, just all stuck in shape that makes it look like a tree. I thought that was kind of wild. And I love this last shot of we got the garlands, the fun colors, the collections of trees. So that leads me into our DIY today. So some of you may remember my macaroni tree. I call it a macaroni tree, but I look at it now and I realize there's several types of pasta. So maybe this is a pasta tree. And I tried to look up on Pinterest for one of these. I Googled macaroni trees. Um, yeah, there's like nothing out there for pictures. So they're really ugly. <laughs> <laughs> but I like this one. This is from my childhood and I think my mom made it. I can see inside of here that it is newspaper that was 
paper mache but it looks like someone, probably my mom, just took cardboard, covered it in old newspaper, glued on the noodles, spray painted it cream, and I think it's the color that makes this work, okay? So I found a lot of pictures that were really super ugly and maybe look like a preschooler made them. Not that preschooler coughs are ugly, but I'm just saying that's not the look we're going for today. So I think it's really about the color. If they had spray painted them with my favorite cream spray paint, I think any of those trees could have looked good. Then it looks like someone took a vase and just crammed it up in their cute little footed pedestal and spray painted it. And it has this great texture, I'm a total texture girl, even though I don't decorate most of my house in Bohemian, this would look very good with a collection of them. And so, simple concept, but I was out um, thrifting recently and I found these little guys. They are like spools that had cotton, thread or yarn on them and I have four of them and the the guy at the thrift store was the most awesome thrift store in Snohomish Washington um, if you saw my stories on it oh, it was incredible and it was like an antique store like everything in it was so cool it wasn't junky and mixed and stuff it was like awesome antiques for just 90% off <laughs> what they were in real antique stores. He called it a thrift store, but it was this ama amazing old place. He gave these to me for free. He gave me a couple things for free. Anyway, when I saw him, I was like, oh yeah, it's time. It's time to make the macaroni trees. So we're gonna do that today. I'm simply going to hot glue pasta all over these. I grabbed some pasta, this is what I found. We have tiny macaroni, don't get the big ones, because, well, at least for my, my cardboard it's too it would be too big I got tiny macaroni we got small shells and we have mini parfait then last of all I did a little research on Amazon and I settled on these candlestick holders I mean like you could make these you could just roll cardboard and you could just not have a pedestal, but I kind of liked them, especially since my main one, the mama tree is, is have the, has a footed base on it. So we'll make all the baby trees that way. All right, let's get started. to mention that happened over the last couple weeks is we hit 70,000 subscribers. Unreal. Thank you guys so much. I continue to find the best advice and have really developed some real friendships from this whole online community of DIYers who love decorating. And it's just fun. We've got more. We're up to 70,000. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to do a quick giveaway. I know it's kind of like maybe late, 
But I have a holiday planner that I created a couple years ago and it's digital. And I'm going to give it away to one of you. So um, it's difficult on YouTube for me to contact you, right? So we're just going to do our best here. So leave me a comment on this video. And then on Monday, December 6th, I will pick one of your comments and I will answer you in the comments and say that you won. And then I'll, you know, you'll have to email me and I'll send you the holiday planner. And what I want you to put in the comments is what your favorite holiday decoration is slash was when you were a child. This is one of my favorites. I, I took it from my mom when I moved out and I still use it and it just doesn't go out of style. To me it doesn't. It's a Christmas tree. It has great texture. It's a great color. Um, so yeah, I'm interested to know what you love, what you remember from your childhood and the funny things from the last many decades that stick out in your mind. So all right, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button so we can get up to 80,000. And I can send you more videos on how to make interior design easy. All right, take care. I will talk to you soon.